Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different from what I normally post on my channel, and we're going to do an Adobe Premiere tutorial and how to do a dynamic split screen setup. Now, this is very easy to do, and I typically would do this in After Effects to have a little bit more control, but with Premiere, you can do this very easily, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So I already have my own sequence here, and I have five different clips in here. And basically, what you want to do is once you have a clip, is you want to start working with it, right? So we can come over here, grab our clip, double click it, and we'll go into our effects controls window where we'll see all of our motion parameters. And what we can do is we can of course scale it down and that's gonna be very easy for us to work with. And we come over here to the position parameters and start to kind of lay out where we want our clip to be. Now this is obviously, you know, very easy to do and you probably didn't need a tutorial on know how to do this. But let's go ahead and do something a little bit more challenging. Let's create two smaller thin screens on the right side here. So let's turn on another clip and here we have a clip. So what we want to do here is of course we want to maybe continue to scale down and we want to find a nice position for this clip. So we want to kind of have that nice black border. I'm in favor of that. So the big challenge here is that we need to scale this all the way across the remaining of our uh, black space here. So you still want to kind of increase the scale to a nice uh, fit here. It's a little bit of a trial and error to kind of get it exactly. but this looks really good. Of course, I'll probably go to like a 48% just to be sure. So once you have your clip in place, we want to crop this so we can add another screen here. So what we need to do is we need to go to our uh, effects library. So we go up to effects over here. And if you don't see the effects window, go up to window effects and let's come over here and let's type in the word crop. Let's grab this filter and bring it right into our clip. And here we're going to be able to have a lot of control over the shot. So let's go to the bottom percentage and let's increase that by a touch. What's happening here is we're cutting a lot off of our uh, talent's body here. And that's not, not something we want. We want to raise our eyes up. So what I would do is increase the Y position and then go to the top percentage and lower that. And then we go to the right percentage and we'll just decrease that by a touch. So this looking good. So now we have our talent space right in the screen and we can create another one. So what I would do just to make this simple is I would just come over here and I would uh, duplicate this layer, right? So we copy paste it and come over here and just put this new one over here, right? So now what I would do is grab the Y position for this new clip and bring it down and go back to the crop percentage and bring that down to where we would want it to be. So, so what I would do is once I have my in and out points selected with my clip, what I would do is I would right click the clip here that we want to replace inside our timeline, right click it, go to replace with clip and click on replace from source monitor or from bin, depending on where you want to bring your clip in from, but we'll do from source monitor. And basically what's gonna happen, we have our clip right in there. Now we might wanna scrub through here and see if there's any issues with you know any eye levels, which in my opinion, yes, there is a little bit of an issue. So we, we would come over here, double click the clip, go to effects controls, and we would you know readjust the you know crop the position and then readjust the crop. And now that's looking good. So now we have three windows in here and we can continue to work with the other three clips in here. Now we'll just continue to work with these same principles. We'll just play the scale. Uh, the position and then we'll adjust the crop depending on what we're looking to do. So maybe for this one, we'll do a nice um, wide, you know, maybe a wider screen. So let's take up maybe a majority of our uh, right side of our frame here. So now that we have this very beautiful split screen uh, window action going on here. And let's say we want to take this even further and animate all these windows in. This is very easy to do. We can do a position animation or you can do a little, something a little bit more custom, but I like position animation for this just because it's very minimalistic in my opinion. So let's go over here, double click one of the clips. We'll do the, the uh, top left corner clip first. We'll add a keyframe for position and we'll move this keyframe forward in time. So maybe we'll do about, you know, a second animation or so. And we'll just, you know, animate the Y position off the screen here until the clip is completely off our screen here. And what we can do is right click all these clips and we can set these clips to Bezier uh, keyframes. So basically what will happen, it'll have a nice little slowdown towards the end of our animation. So we can continue to come through here and animate each window, you know, to come on in a nice little sequence. And now we have our split screen animation here and it looks very nice and it almost feels like the matrix here. You know, we have all these nice little windows here 
and it's like they're in that one room with all the windows or sorry <laughs> of all the TVs and I don't know it just looks really cool so hope you guys found this video insightful if you guys did please be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the description of the video and as always I hope you have a good day.